Wake up. It's Brian and Tracy. All right, here we go. Take her home. That's Kenny Chesney on 101.7. K Sam, good morning to you. Yeah, the solar eclipse. It's going to be on April the 8th. Uh, the last time we had one that was uh, really close to us was several years ago. And uh, my, my son had gotten his hands on a welder's mask. And so we were out there trying to go look at this welder's super cool. mask. But this time, we have a whole box of these ISO-approved Eclipse glasses. You just can't. You got to watch what you order off the internet. I agree. Right? You got to mm-hmm. make sure that they are ISO-approved. Uh, so... And one way you can tell is that I look through these glasses that we've got, uh-huh. and you can't see nothing. It's total blacked out. Those are the right ones. Right, right. Those are the right <laughs> ones. So when you look up at the sun, then you'll actually see the uh, the the shape there of that crescent. So, so you, it'll be pretty cool. So you won't damage your eyes. Yeah. That's, yeah, so that's we're going to gonna be giving those away here pretty soon. Uh, so get ready for the big solar eclipse on April 8th with 101.7 KSAM. Sam Hunt and Outskirts Sun, your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. Carlos hanging out with you on this Monday. Your weather forecast coming right up. Keith Urban and Morgan Wallen are around the corner as well. Well, there's a 35-year-old math teacher up in Dallas who just announced he's running for president after changing his name to literally anybody else. First name literally, middle name anybody, last name else. A judge who didn't find it very funny ultimately signed off on the name change, so it is official. He even de- he indeed got a new driver's license too. Uh, Mr. Else filed the necessary paperwork with the Federal Election Commission. He's currently trying to get on the ballot in Texas as an independent. People in other states would have to vote for him as a write-in candidate. Look, I know our options aren't that great, but goodness gracious. Joe Diffie on your hometown radio station, 101.7 KSAM. I'm Carlos Zimmerman with you on the Midday Show. You're listening to the greatest hour in country music. It is 90s at noon. All right, here we go. As you sit in your lunch hour, here's a food story for you. Uh, The online gambling site BetUS is looking to hire a wiener connoisseur to visit all 30 Major League ballparks and check out the wieners at each one. Now, you're going to get to taste test dozens of hot dogs, but they don't really care how good they are. They just want you to measure each weenie to see which Major League club has the biggest and smallest. Once you got your hands on one, you'll need to measure the length, the diameter, or the girth, and also how heavy it is. Now, it's not a full-time gig, so they don't expect you to handle all these wieners for free. They buy the game tickets, travel is covered, and you get $2,500 for it. They're also going to toss in a $500 gift card for MLBShop.com and a subscription to MLB.tv. All right. I love baseball. I do love me a ballpark hot dog. Where do I sign up? Jelly Roll on KSAM. Good afternoon. I'm Big Lynn Edwards. Your forecast coming up here in just a few moments. Uh, But check this out. Uh, How's this? Uh, Number might be even higher because of Casual Friday for people. But at least 25% of us are wearing jeans right now. Now, this according to a new poll that asked 15,000 Americans of all ages how often they would wear jeans. And one in four said daily. That's right. And to be fair, uh, would also include people that change into jeans when they get home from work. So it's possible fewer than that are wearing them at this this, uh, exact moment. Now, for me personally, I wear a pair of jeans every Friday without fail. And I also wear a Hawaiian shirt every Friday without fail. It's called Hawaiian Shirt Friday. Anyway, (laughs) another 35% of people that took the poll said they wear jeans a few times a week, and 12% said at least once a week. So 72% of Americans are wearing jeans on a weekly basis, and there is nothing wrong with that, right? 